Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to get started using Dropbox on your iPhone. Everything you need to know, let's jump in. So first and foremost, let's get the app. So we're gonna go over to our app store and we're just gonna search for Dropbox and then you'll see it down here. Now, if you haven't installed it yet, it'll ask you to install. I do have it installed, so we're just gonna open it from there. And then it's gonna take you to this screen once it finishes downloading and ask you to sign in. Now, if you've already have an account on your computer, you'll just use those sign-in credentials. If you are setting up a new account, you could do that as well. But I already have an account, so I'm just gonna click on uh, my sign-in method, which is through my Google account, and it's gonna sign me in here. Now, the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna pop up and it's, it's gonna ask you to upgrade to the next storage level. I'm just on the free account, which gives you two gigabytes of storage. So depending on what you're using it for, that may be enough. The next tier, I think, is like two terabytes. So you get quite a bit of storage, but I'm just going to close that out. I'm going to stay on the free version. And then the next thing it's going to ask you about is going to be to turn on the automatic photo sync onto Dropbox. So when you take photos on your phone, it's going to automatically sync. We're going to do that, but I'm going to skip that for now because we're going to set that up later. Okay. And then it's going to drop you into your home screen here. And so this shows you all of the files that you have, and it has some of the suggestions, depending on how many folders you have or how many files, this might look a little bit different, but it has, you know, the ones that you've reused recently, uh, some of the files that you have shared with others across the bottom and that sort of thing. So first, I'm going to just going to talk a little bit about the navigation of this, and then we're going to turn on a couple of settings that are going to help you out here. So we're on the home page right now on the bottom. And then if you look at the next one over is files. And files, this is all of your folders and kind of your main view of all the files that you have in there. So just starting at the top, I'm going to show you a couple of things that we can do. We can search for certain files. If you know what the name of the file is you're looking for, you can just search it right in there. And then down below that, you can upload. So if you click on that, it'll bring up your photo library that's on your phone, your photos app. And you can select any of those files that you want and click add and it'll show you what files you have. And then it's gonna ask you which folder that you wanna put those in. I'm just gonna put them into my stuff and you click upload and it'll then start taking those and uploading those into that folder with anything else that you have in there, okay? So we're gonna just hit the arrow to back out of that. And then you can also create folders. So let's say I wanna create a folder. We're just gonna create a folder called important docs. And this is a new folder. This is what it looks like when there's nothing in your folder. And I want to talk through this a little bit. So the right up at the top, you see scan documents, okay? So when you click on that, it will ask you if it can access your camera. So you just want to say, go into your settings and allow it to access your camera. And we're going to go back to Dropbox. And we're going to click on that again. And we're going to scan documents. So what we're going to do is I have some notes here. And we're just gonna hold this over this page, just like this. You can see it kind of getting framed in there, exactly what it needs, and there. And what this has done is it's taking just my paper document that I have setting here, just some notes, and it is going to scan that in there virtually, right? So then all we do is we click Next, and we are already in the important document. So then we click the file type, file quality. So let's leave it as a PDF and we go upload. So you can go through bills, tax documents, letters from your spouse, whatever you want. You could, you could scan those documents, notes that you took at a meeting or whatever you want. Any type of document, it's got that built-in feature so that you can scan those documents with your phone and add those in there. So that's a great feature. Then we're gonna back out of that. So now we're in this folder view and then you see up at the top next to folder is that scan menu again. When you're in here looking at the folders, you can open any of those up. So there's that important document. You can see that in there. And then you could see my stuff, right? There's the photos that we put in there. So it keeps everything sort of organized. So these are the main folders that I have set up here. And you could create those however you want. But when you open up those folders, let's go back to important documents, you can now add additional folders inside of there. So this folder is gonna be inside important documents and I'm just gonna say notes. Okay, we're gonna go done. And now we have an empty folder there. We're gonna back out of that. And I'm gonna take that document we just created and I'm gonna hover it. I'm just pressing my finger on the screen 
and holding it. And then we're just gonna hover over top of that folder. It opens up the folder and we drop it just like that. And now that document is in the notes folder within important documents. So you can really kind of really break up those folders however you want to kind of really keep it organized. I have another one here, another document that's just there by itself. I'm just gonna move that up. And we're just gonna drop it into important documents, just like that. Moving across the bottom here, you can see there's a plus sign and it gives up some quick options here. You can upload folders, scan, which we talked about, creating a folder, creating a file. So then you see create a file. So if we click on, click on that, you could see now we could create a Word document, Excel, PowerPoint, text file, all of that directly in there. So if you wanna generate a file, you could do that as well. Uh, we're gonna click on that plus sign again and you could take a photo to put in there, you record audio. And so you have several of these options that are in here to kind of create files, all those kind of, sign of, kind of same commands that we were just talking about are under that plus sign. Then to the right of that, you see photos. So we're gonna click on this, and this is what I wanna talk about here. So one of the great features of, the, of having Dropbox on your phone is to be able to back up your camera roll. So any photos you take on your phone, rather than just storing them on your storage on your phone, it's gonna upload them to Dropbox. So you can see I have my photos here that I've already uploaded, but we're gonna click on the camera uh, uploads is turned off. So we're gonna turn that on in the settings. You can see here, it's gonna ask you where you want those photos to be saved from. So you could do your camera roll, which would be everything that's on your camera, which depending on how many photos you have on there, like me, I have over 3000 photos. You may or may not wanna do that depending on how much storage you have. But we're gonna scroll down here and we're gonna to go to our Halfinity folder. I'm gonna select that. So anything, any picture that I add into that folder will then sync. So we're gonna save that selection and then it's gonna come in here and give you some more options. So you could back up all your photos again. You could just do from a certain date which I'll say from today, you know, include videos, the high efficiency photos, live photos, you can make some additional changes there. So we're gonna go back to the albums and we're gonna save that selection. And then, so from here, all you do is you click turn on camera uploads. And then when it does that, now it's gonna sync anything that falls into those criteria. And then finally, I'm gonna head over to the account section and this gives you some information on your plan. It gives you how much storage, so you can watch that, how much storage you have available, how much you have left. It shows you the other devices that you have connected onto there. So right now I just have the three. Again, if you need more, you can upgrade from there. And then with that, you are all set. You have all your files organized. You have all your auto sync option from your camera and you're up and running with Dropbox on your phone. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.